everyone, if this is your first time with the channel, please do so. Make sure that you're subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications. So that way you don't miss another video like this one coming your way. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help our channel grow. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment. We do get back to all of our comments. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Tour. We come from Myron Tours. And today, here we go, folks. Just in time for the big movie, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. NECA brings out, I believe this is the reissue of Beetlejuice. <laughs> so it is hitting Walmarts right now. I believe the retail price on this, I, I'm really not sure because you know what? My wife was the one that picked this one up for me. She said it was $24.99 um, at Walmart. So please leave it in the comments if you paid more, if you paid less, what was going on. But it's roughly around that range. So this one's a little bit different. So it brings, it comes on a backer card. It brings a backer card. You got the bubble on it, the old school, the way that they used to come out. I like this idea because if it's going to save us money to get us something that looks quite like this, hey, I'll take it, folks. I will take it. This this figure looks amazing. This is for ages 14 and up. Beetlejuice in the striped suit includes his handbook and snake so there's a handbook there's a snake he doesn't really bring too much so i don't blame neca for putting them on a backer card so there you can see the side right there they are available folks right now there you go on the back you can see how he looks how you could get him to look with the right diorama i understand that neca is going to blow it up with a huge diorama for this guy that is in the 200 and some odd dollar range. So you could go on to NECA and I believe that you could pre-order that right now. Go on to NECA shop and you could pre-order his little housing unit where he comes out of. And it has like the little stripper thing and everything else that goes along with it. The display is huge folks. So go on to NECA shop, NECA shop and check that out uh, as soon as this video is over. And don't forget to hit... Hit the like button and make sure that you're subscribed. We also have this guy coming out. So there you go. You can see the one in the red that is also coming out. He is popping up recently at Target. People are finding him at Target. So hit your local Targets to get the one in the red suit. And I will bring that up closer so that way you can read just what that says. You can pause the video and read that right there if you would like. Um, but I want to get this review going because, folks, let me tell you, this figure is pretty kick-ass. So let's take him out of the package and see exactly how he looks. All right, folks, so we are back. And I just want to give you a heads up. It is really hot here, so I got the fan on in case you hear something in the background. It's pretty much the fan. So, um, yeah, I got to keep the AC off because the cost is just a little high. <laughs> Um, here in the valley. All right, folks, so our Beetlejuice, Michael Keaton, is checking in at about seven inches tall. Um, this guy, I had trouble getting him to stand. I don't know where my neck of stands are at. So, um, yeah, he's he's just not standing too well. But, yeah, he's looking, yeah, at about 17 and three-quarter um, centimeters. All right. So, as you can tell, this guy brings... His handbook. And there you go. It is a very like soft material, like as if you're touching a book, folks. So it's very interesting because I wish that they did this with all their products. So this really looks like a book, even from the inside there. Uh, it does not open, but it's very, very rubbery. So um, yeah, it feels just like a real book, folks. So very nice touch that NECA did. They also put put in his rubber snake. All right, when I mean rubber snake, yeah, it's very bendy. <laughs> so there you go. Hey, there's a snake in my bones. All right, now nah, that's a different one, but oh well, it is a snake. He brings his little rubber snake. This is Beetlejuice, man. This is going to be a hit in theaters. All the kids that was fantastic about what NECA did with this is kids are going to be seeing this depending on how much NECA really puts out. Okay, like if Playmates or somebody else would have made this, yeah, they would have had the whole shelving completely full in the toy aisle with Beetlejuice stuff. NECA does it. So NECA does a higher-end product to make you feel like you have the guy in your hand. So they don't make as much. But if kids can manage to get their hands on this, you know, like some youngsters or whatever, young collectors, 
they're going to really appreciate this figure, even though it is for age of 14 and up. All right, so let's give our Michael Keaton, our Beetlejuice, a quick turn. There you go. Like I said, this is the striped edition. So they might have added a quite a lot to him. So there you go. Look, folks, look at look at this. Look at this. Okay, let, let me let me get up close to this. Look at the hands. Look at the detail. So I can do this early because he really doesn't have too much articulation. So look at the face on that. Jesus. They really went all out. And I think they saved on cost on this because they didn't give them an alternate head. They didn't do a lot of the things like they usually do with the alternate, with the ultimates, with NECA. But this guy is very cool. So there you go, folks. So, all right. So we're going to bring our Beetlejuice a little bit closer. There you go. Can you see him pretty good? I think you can, folks. All right, so now that I've given him a quick turn, we are going to turn him to the side, let this review get going, and Beetlejuice. 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 <laughs> All right, so his head does spin around. You can get it to spin. I like the way that they did the hair. The hair looks amazing, and I didn't get to say that. Look at the up close on that, folks. Wow, it just... Little individual soft molded plastic. What more could you ask for? They did a fantastic job. I don't, I think this is a reissue. Let me know in the comments. I don't have the first one, but I made sure I got this one. All right. So there you go. Arms will hit about 90. Okay. They do go up and around on our Beetlejuice. He has no other joint work going on whatsoever with this guy. I would so love to have a NECA stand right now on him. Um, he does have soft molded plastic material all throughout, even his coat. Some of it just, some of the paint just came right off there. So look, look at that. Look at that. I'm sure you could probably pop the arms off. Well, don't hold me to that and then break your Beetlejuice. But um, yeah, it would be cool if you could pop the arms off and then take it off, put it back on. I'm thinking that you probably can, but don't hold me to that, folks, because you know what? I'm not going to do it with mine. I don't want to break the dude. So, um, because it just looks so cool. So hands do go down. Madame, would you like my ring? There you go. <laughs> All right, something Beetlejuice would do. It's real wild, crazy. Hold it. Hold the phone. I can help you guys. <laughs> All right, something like that. All right, him and Winona Ryder are excellent on screen together. You got that swivel. You got rotation at the waist. Nothing down below. Did I just say? <laughs> All right. Let's keep our thoughts to ourselves. when I just said that. Okay. So nothing down, nothing down below, <laughs> nothing down below folks. So there is no move. Oh, it even gets worse. There is no movement going on down below. Damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So his legs look like this all the way down. He does have movement in the boots. His boots rotate side to side. You can't get him to go all the way around. But that's about all he's going to have, folks. Uh, and the, the trouble is trying to get him to, to stand. So I got to kind of lean him over there a little bit. And there you go. I get him to stand. So th there you have it, folks. There's our Beetlejuice. This dude looks pretty cool. So he does manage to hold his book. I got him to... I took a picture of him earlier holding his book. There you go. Turn him around. Make him look at his own book. Let's see here. Hey, yeah. Finally got the book of the dead. Of the deceased. <laughs> there you go. Not the book of the dead. The book of the deceased. <laughs> All right. And then also the snake. Folks, let me know where does his snake go. Because even though he has nothing down below, where does the snake go? <laughs> no, just, all right, hold the thoughts to yourself or leave them in the comments. <laughs> just having fun with it. This is, the kind of, this is the kind of character you can have fun with all day and with the right diorama behind you, folks. I can only imagine how beautiful this piece is going to look with that great big display that the NECA shop has right now that goes to this guy. You could pre-order. So um, go on to there. I, last I checked, 
they were still running them. So they were in the two hundred and something dollar range for that big old display that he goes to. But I think this figure is amazing. Let me know if you guys picked them up. Let me know what do you think of this. Um, did you unbox yours? Do you have the original one? How does he fare up next to the original one? I wish I did. Because you guys know here on most tour room, I would have had them side by side and checked out the difference. But at least I managed to get one, man. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to getting the other and all red. And if I do, you'll definitely see it here on most tour room. All right, folks. So please like, comment, subscribe. And from most tour room to yours, everyone, good night.